Podcast Ranger. You know, seeing this art of Donald Duck makes me think of another duck-themed show. Light News Week. Woo! This week, uh, it is a Light News Week. <laughs> Whoa, what the fuck's up with Captain Hook thing? I don't know. A robotic Captain Hook? Man, reboot got weird. Oh, that's Captain Capacitor. I know, that's the joke. Welcome to Extra Extra Cast Ranger. Hi, it's just me and Ichi. Everyone else is very dicks. <laughs> don't say that, you'll make Emily feel bad. Except for Emily. <laughs> so so just, just Gar. Gar's a bag of dicks. <laughs> And he can hear you. He's in the next room. He knows I'm kidding. <laughs> he knows what he did. <laughs> Go listen to Kaiju Sentai Ultra Ranger right now. Or else. Yeah. Or else he'll fire me. <laughs> Actually, no, because that's the funny. That's the funny thing. He can't fire me because then you can't fire me. I quit. No, because just then it would just be him on the show, and he doesn't want that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, I heard about that. Like they they're making a new Doom movie, and like it looks even shittier than the the, the first one they did. It, it's like it, it, it's so bad. Fucking Bethesda's like disavowing it. I saw. <laughs> I guess you could say the movie's doomed. Yep. Also, Avengers Endgame new trailer came out, and it was fucking badass. Also, we saw Captain Marvel. It was pretty good. It I, was. I liked it. I bought, I bought Star Force figures because fucking Young Rog is so cool. The Star Force is badass. Yeah. Sucks. Can we, can we just have like a Star Force movie? Just about them? After that movie? Oh, Probably no. not. No, but... <laughs> and <laughs> Scottish! I'm Scottish! I am so about those memes. I love it. I actually came up today on Marion Miller's stream. We were just like, there's like one of our uh, like subs is like from Scotland, so we just kept talking about how fucking Scottish people are super awesome. What about the Doms? I regret that immediately. I don't know what that is? Never mind. Let's talk about news. Okay. <laughs> All right. So first up, we have confirmation that there will be obviously Zio and Ryu Soldier summer movies. Oh man, I really thought they weren't gonna do it this year. That poster though looks pretty fucking dope. Like I don't, I don't know why, but just Zio himself looks really, really fucking cool there. It looks like there's some sort of ancient mountain or castle in the background, so it's gonna involve time traveling to the past, probably because dinosaurs. Yep. Sure. Or probably feudal era Japan. Because why not? Every other Rider movie does it. Yep. Uh, so on July 26th, the summer movies for both series will debut, and it will be a double feature for Rider and Sentai, just like it does every year. Oh yeah. And we have a teaser poster. It honestly looks like Ryusol Red's about to stab Zio in the back. <laughs> I'll fix this terrible show once and for all! Watch, watch, watch the Zio movie, will just piss you off to no end. It probably will! Like, there's gonna be something in that movie that's just gonna happen... And you're just gonna be like, I, I, I cannot like this show. I can't. Like you're gonna fucking disown Zio as a show. I mean, I'm pretty much there already. Yeah. Uh, cast fans, remember this moment in this prediction that Lane makes when we talk about the Zio summer movie yeah. months from now. Yeah, that like something's gonna happen in that movie that's just gonna piss Ichi off so much that like a watch. like a room exiting bullshit. Or or because this might be the first for you ever just so bad you don't want to even finish Zio. <laughs> but that's impossible. No. You're see you're you're like Just because I don't want to doesn't mean I won't. Yeah, exactly. Like you're kind of duty bad. I don't, I don't yeah, I don't care how good or bad is a, a, a token show is, I will watch it. Yeah, we're, we're a little bit duty bound here. <laughs> oh, so yeah, we got like a nice sweet fucking picture if you click on there of freaking uh, Zio Deno armor. That shit oh, looks boy. fucking beautiful. Also, before I forget let me fucking apologize for last week's episodes. Oh my god. Yeah, no, that was my fault. I'm sorry. So what happened was, we... I bought a spare mic for the purposes of keeping in my room and not the studio so I could stream uh, with Dave, with Overkill, for his uh, his streams. Uh, just so I, would, I could do it in my room and not have to take the mic back and forth. And as soon as I got it, Lane was like, oh, we should try hooking up a second mic in the studio. You know, like a real podcast. Well, because I thought it would improve, like, the audio quality so it would sound, like, 
better. And so, and it wasn't a terrible idea. Yeah. But we don't know how to implement it. It, it doesn't properly. work that well here because the mics are so close to each other and running off cardioid uh, settings. Yeah, so... So it didn't work, and then I unplugged the second mic and didn't turn off the software configuration in Streamlabs OBS that I'm using. So it thought I still was trying to use a second mic, so it just used the first mic twice. So... And, and the sync got better and worse at different points of the episode. So at one... At some points, it sounds like we're robots, and at some points, it sounds like we're echoing through time. Yeah. Oh my god, I felt so... Te- I spent like a solid half hour, like, how do I split audio tracks from a finished recording? <laughs> and I couldn't find anything, and I was just like, oh! On our anniversary episode?! Oh, no! Yeah. <laughs> So, I know that probably amused some of you, but I still feel like shit because I have standards. Yep. Anyways, this, this is why I don't, this is why I don't suggest shit ever, just because sometimes it can go very, very wrong. So, that's why I keep shit to myself sometimes. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so cool, we're getting Ryder and Sentai movies in the summer, because doy. Yeah. <laughs> What's funny is they're coming out on my mom's birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> just get my mom this for DVD or something for her birthday. Happy birthday, mom. <laughs> what is this? Uh, I know, he wouldn't understand. Why are these men in spandex? Also, Ichi, Ichi bought my Soto figure of uh, Zio Guy armor. That thing was a bitch to put together. Yeah, I bet. Honestly, I really like the form now. It looks cool. I still hate it. I'm probably I'm probably going to get the Guy watch just so I can... If you take the fucking tentacle spider swords off it, it probably doesn't look as bad. Yeah, it gives it more shit, dude. But I'm probably gonna get the guy in ride watch to go with it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Kaguya Dex. My 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 mom my mom's awesome. She she's been a nurse like pretty much all my life and she always knew how to take care of me when I was sick, so Alright. Yeah. Next news story. So Ryu Soldier hasn't even debuted in Japan yet, and we've already got confirmation that it's getting adapted in South Korea. Yeah, it's there apparently according to Gar, apparently they're skipping loop and pad. Uh, all right. Yeah, because dinosaurs sell a lot better in Korea, so. Uh, it's going to debut in South Korea as Power Rangers Dino Soul in August. Yeah, you know what? It honestly makes sense too because when you think about it, like Kuruju did so fucking well in South Korea that they're like, you know what? Let's make a fucking sequel series. It's hilarious because if you zoom into the logo, you can see the Power Rangers lightning bolt in the text. Ooh, Hasbro ain't gonna have that. <laughs> oh, that's super interesting. Well, yeah, so that's cool. Good, good, good thing they're good job for them skipping loop path. Yeah. So Bastards. for the for those who don't know, the way these dubs work is they don't like do what Power Rangers does. They just take the Japanese footage and dub it over in Korean, Ultraman Tiga style. Yeah, and then they make like they will actually release like. Korean voiced of the toys. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, if, if you watch Keizo's channel... I've seen them, I've seen them. <laughs> yeah, if you watch Keizo's channel, like, he has, like... Because he just reviewed a bunch of, like, build stuff re- from Korea. There's a difference with... Dino Force Brave was a different thing. That was an actual separate season they filmed in Korea. Y- yeah, but... And then it got but, a Japanese but, dub. But that was on the result that the Korean dub of Kyoruger did so fucking well. Yeah. This show hasn't even aired yet, and it's getting like, adapted. Like, new series, new toys. Both, they made both a Korean and Japanese version of said toys. Like, that's amazing. Right? Fucking God. All right, next. Dinosaur Cell, apparently. So, not only is Decade coming back to Zeo, but, but he's bringing over our old friend Kaito. Yeah, so you literally, honestly, when you think about it, you can't have Decade without Dien. They're just they they're they're the they're the gruesome twosome. <laughs> As father and son. Well, like it's weird too because they, they like when Dan first showed up in Decade, like he he, he had this thing where he's like, "Ooh, Sukasa, I know you, I, I know you from your past and stuff," and they <laughs> never went anywhere with it. Yeah, <laughs> I know you eat cucumbers. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, so but yeah, so we're getting. Uh, Comrade Rider DN uh, in, in Zeo, so that that's exciting. I hope he steals fucking Zeo shit. That'd be awesome. 
And I hope he, I hope he summons like new Neo Heisei riders. I mean, oh yeah, sick. Like summons like Cross or something like that, or like summons Genmu or Laser. Like that'd be fucking cool. Yeah. So, so, oh my god, is he gonna have like a Neo DN driver? Oh my god! Yeah, right? I uh, might buy that if it, they put that out. Yeah, no. Okay, if DN's coming back, give him a new set of fucking powers too. Is he gonna have like a pink gun? No, no, it'll, maybe like a different shade of blue. <laughs> oh, they, like a cyan, cyan gun? There Just like the go. gun instead of black is blue? That'd be fucking sick! I, I hope so I'm no actually, way we know you're listening make it happen yeah no actually you know what fucking do that if i might actually buy it if they do it yeah and 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 plus if they do it'll have more sounds than the actual dn driver right so. that'd be sick do it oh my god neo dms let's have neo dm but anyways this is cool so he's apparently showing up in like the april episodes of that's what the Zero. guess is based on the release of the time machine gates mode which comes with the dn ride watch okay uh, there was mention that the filming that he's in is taking place in a water purification plant, but that probably has no bearing on what his involvement is. Yeah. But he's gonna steal your shit! He's gonna steal the water! <gasps> what if he steals Gates' time machine? That'd be awesome. That'd be fucking sick! That's why they released the watch with this fucking time machine! You know plant. what? That might be it! Yeah, no, because, like... And then they put the DM ride watch on the thing in the show. Yeah, exactly. Because, you know what? Kind of does that. He already he already went back in time once to steal something from himself. And, like... No, oh, no, no! He went back in time to go steal something before his past self did, but then his past self stole it from him anyways. And it was super fucking funny. He's like, did I just... Good to know Zia. Just good to know Zia wasn't the first to make bullshit, confusing time travel nonsense. Yeah, but anyways, so fucking, you know what? Like, I, I wasn't like the biggest fan of the end, but like, I, I'm excited he's coming back. Yeah, because like when I think about it, he'll breathe some fresh life into this shit show. Yeah, again, well, again, like Deku and Dan like are inseparable, so like you can't have one without the other. I mean, we did a and, couple and times. have. Yeah, <laughs> remember, remember when Dan was like the end. Villain of superhero Tyson. Yes. <laughs> Just being a whiny bitch. I don't want to be the main character. Fuck you. All right, moving on. So last week we looked at official images for Kamen Rider Omazio's SH Figure Arts, Ugh. and now we have the release details. Yep. Uh, it's going to be. It is a web exclusive, but yeah. it's only sixty four eighty yen. So you're probably looking at like at least ninety dollars for this figure. And it's going to be released in September. Oh. He's so pretty. Can we like can we have him back in the show, please? Right. You know, you know, you know what? Honestly, why? I think it, it's just because like Zio know Sogo knows he's not ready to fight it, fight him yet. Because oh, yeah. he already tried, got his ass handed to him, and then Omazio was like, "Yeah, dude, see you later." <laughs> Omazio is the Lavos of this show. Yeah, you can go and fight him whenever the fuck you want, but it's not recommended you do that. Yeah. So, oh, I can't wait for that final fight. He's just gonna, Sugo's gonna dummy him. He's gonna dummy himself. Yeah. All right. Next. Uh, that is the same story. Oh yeah, it was in there twice. Okay, so a while back we talked about how they were running a fan poll to decide a, on a special set of ride watches to release. So and we have the results. Yeah. So Gar will be having you no know, because I was actually listening to this week, like uh, I think it was yesterday, the episode of Extra Extra, where um, like we were talking about like the the, the candidate, list, the list the, of like, candidates, the list of candidates, and like that how three Gen Move fucking uh, forms got like uh, we're, we're on the list. We're on the list. And Gar was pissed, but yeah. So none of those have, made it. So now we have the yeah, none of, none of the Genmu ones made it. So the one the final list we have is Fi's Axel form. Hooray! Which, which you did make a comment that that would be cool to have a ride watch of because his power is from a watch. Right. So, I'm pretty sure I did vote for that one. Yeah. Um, Conrader Chalice, which. So, yes, Hajime's best character in Blade. That's so. nice. Um, Eternal, because Eternal... And it's Blue Flare! Well, yeah, of course it's Blue Flare. I'm so glad uh, it's Blue Flare, not Red Flare. Yeah, well, Red Flare was shit. Agreed. Yeah, we don't talk about that one. Um, yeah, but Eternal, he was fucking cool. He was an awesome-looking rider and shit like that. 
Yep. And then you have Comrade Cronus. Which is great because his actor... I, I bet you anything, his actor and their, his fans campaigned and, and got this one voted yeah, in. Yeah, well... It's, because it's, it's, the best thing ever is like when that this happened, he tweeted about it, and he's like thanking his fans and going, No Zipan! Because, you know, Zipan was his catchphrase about being out of stock or yeah. discontinued. Yeah. So now he's in stock. Yeah, and it makes sense because, you know, he has the ability to, like, pause time and shit like that. Right. So... And then finally, which I'm actually really surprised this happened, Common Rider Poppy. Right? I, I guess Poppy... I mean, good for a female rider of any sort to make it into here, but why Poppy? You know, well, you know what? I think Poppy has, like, a huge, like, cult following. She probably pulled the same thing and had her social following vote for her. Exactly. I'm, I'm a little sad it's not the red-eyed version. That would have eh. been cool. Uh, I, I'm actually... I'm a little disappointed that there's two x aid riders on here when they could have, like... Yeah, it could have been someone else. I think I actually wish it would have been someone else. But anyways, I think this I think this list of watches are really good, and they're all DX, which is awesome. So. Yes, I can't wait to have Fi's Axel. Yeah, right. I might get Eternal as well. Hmm. Oh man, that's great. Okay, so <clears throat> uh, voted by fans from a period of January thirty first to February fifteenth. Selected from three hundred Heisei Common Riders with Fuck. a talk. Uh, with well, like, I think not 300 exactly, but, like, 300 various riders and forms. Yeah, 300 forms that have not had a ride watch yet, with a total of 170,000 votes. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. So this is a premium Bandai web exclusive set for all five of them, I guess. That's unfortunate. Uh, 8,100 yen, August release. Yeah. Fuck, man, I wanted just Fies. No, yeah, this is... No, I knew this was being released as a set. So... Do you want to go in on it? Not really. Not I don't really have interest in any of the other riders. I mean, ask Kevin he might, and Raven, because they might want the Cronus and Poppy watch. Yeah, maybe. And then you can keep the Eternal Chalice and the Axel for yourself. I mean, Chalice is cool, but I'm not super big on him. Eh. Well, we'll see. Honestly, I'm sur I'm actually surprised the guy Rider wasn't on this fucking set. Yeah. Like I thought, guy was like really, really fucking. Oh, fine. apparently, according to Kagi Dex, Toku Electables is taking orders for individual watch watches. Oh well, there you go. All right. Get it from Toku Electables. Well, I'll check with Dave first. See if you can get them individually. Okay. Toku Dave from it came from Japan dot com. Yeah. Tell them the cast ranger sent you. Yep. Um, yeah, so, alright. Yeah, all these watches look fucking cool. Neat. Next. Uh, Masaki Suda, who played Double, or Philip in Comrade Double, <laughs> uh, stars in his his last commercial for Fanta. After oh, yeah. three years of advertising for the company, he's starring in uh, this commercial for uh, Fanta, the drinks, and I'm only including this for the very stupid pun that I thought of. So in Japan, commercials are called CMs. So I guess you could say that this is his final fantasy. Um. <laughs> no. Oh, good, good for him. Oh, ah! He looks like Taiga in this one picture. He looks really, really weird without having like his basic hair that he right. had double. Well, it's been like ten years. Also, his entire design was based around a woman's design, so because he tried on women's clothes and tried a woman's hairstyle and was like, <laughs> "Hey, I like this." Zok zok sudene. Yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty much. That's because like that's what he did. He researched on something and then he like. <laughs> Be fascinated with whatever he was researching on, and then he would just do that. That's why he got, like, super fat eating pastries one time, because he got too obsessed with them. In the statement, Suda mentioned that he hopes to try something new with the freedom he has gained in ending his run in Fanta commercials. <laughs> was he being held prisoner by his contract? He cannot wait to have some luxury moments of his own and find some time to relax. Because drinking all that Fanta is so hard... <laughs> Just like he's finally like home, just like relaxing. Ah, oh, now I can relax. Just like grab, goes in the fridge, pulls out a Fanta. Ah! No! No! Now I actually want a Fanta. <laughs> Fanta, don't you want a Fanta? Well, the commercials were want to, want to, Fanta, don't you want to? God fucking damn. Yeah. <laughs> All right, next. Noru Soru Mania. 
is announced Common Rider t-shirts. Noru Solo Mania? What the fuck is that? Uh, it is a Harajuku-based brand of t-shirts. Okay. Apparently. Okay. Uh, Alright. So they're mostly showcasing pre uh, Showa Common Riders with a retro casual style. So we we got one here of Zekros, perfect cyborg. <laughs> Get that for Tom. <laughs> Yeah, no, actually, okay, save that picture and send it to Tom. I need to see his reaction to that. Because uh, Savage Caster, who is a, uh, one, of, one of our favorite guests to have on the show, he fucking hates Zed Cross with a passion. I, we have no idea why, he just fucking hates him. So, like, that's why if we ever talk about the Zed, the Zed Cross movie, we need to fucking, uh, we need to have him on for the show. There you go, I sent it to Tom. Yeah, yeah, yeah I came in to see what his reaction is. All right. Like, fuck you, Jesus. Then we got one of Masked Rider Black. Well, yeah. Cause Rider I'll... Black. Well, yeah. And yes, that is Savage Bandito. Uh, one of Black RX. Yeah. And his two forms. Black RX is best black. One of him with his bike. Uh, there's Gel Shocker. I remember that. That's cool. It's it's a snake strangling the condor. Holy shit. That's cool. It's actually very neat. And yeah, that's it. Okay, cool. Uh, so pre-orders start March 11th. Priced at 41.04 yen. April release. Yeah. So if you like any of those riders, get them now while they're hot. Well, get them starting the 11th, which actually was days ago. Wow. Oh. <laughs> All right. Next, speaking of Conrader theme merch, uh, pens by Platinum revealed by Premium Bandai. Oh my god. Calm Rider themed pens. Themed after the 20 lead Heisei Riders. Okay. I might actually get one of these. Okay, I won't lie. I actually wouldn't mind having a drive pen. Drive pen would be pretty sick. I'd probably get build, maybe? Or maybe blade. Oh, they're a set. So you, we can get all 20 of them. How much are uh, thirty-two forty yen. Not bad. So that's like fifty bucks for a set of pens. For a set of twenty pens, it's not terrible. Yeah, we just give them to different people that we like who like the yeah. each Feature, rider. Features the name and emblem of the riders. That's pretty good. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So the nineteen Hasey riders from Kuga to build. So it's nineteen pens. So there's no Zio pen. <gasps> no. Uh, welcome a pen. <laughs> Well, I got my pen. Can we just have the thumbnail just be a picture of a pen with Zio's head on it and just the episode will be called Wagga My Pen. <laughs> there sure. we go. Yay. Um, so these are re- these are releasing in May. Alright. Maybe we can get them in time for Enemy North or something. I doubt it. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. Next. So, we got the reveal for more of the characters in the roster for the upcoming Power Rangers Battle for the Grid, the fighting game, and a lot of surprising additions. Yeah, so it looks like they're adding a lot of more characters, like Rangers that are from the comics, which is really cool. So, one of them being that we can see here is the Mastodon Sentry, which is like Lord Draken's like, foot soldiers. Think the black MMPR Ranger, but with thicker shoulders and a gun. Well, okay, imagine the black Power Ranger if he fused with like a special ops or a spartan soldier yeah and one of his like special mo- and yeah he has like a fucking power axe that's like an it's actual, just the gun it's just a rifle yeah and then yeah so his like special ability is he summons like a squad of bad yeah. sentries and they just fucking like and they just go fucking ham yeah Super and uh cool. also revealed in the same trailer is goldar uh magna defender um the Ranger Slayer, which I'm very happy to see. Uh, SPD Cat Ranger was a surprising one. Oh well, yeah, they added her in uh, Legacy Wars. So. Like, the Ranger that only got used once ever? Yep. Really? Oh, people like Cat, what can I say? Ugh, I'm just waiting for, for Billy. I want Billy to do this. Oh. <laughs> Happy Pi Day, everybody. It's March 14th. It's 3.14, so it's Pi Day, which we're oh, celebrating oh, by two, getting teats two, alive on the episode. 3142 over days? <laughs> 314 days over two. There you go. 
I am actually in the middle of a replay of 358. <sighs> yeah, I gotta keep playing it. I'm taking down notes of any major plot developments over the game for my Kingdom Hearts book report. Because my favorite characters in all of Kingdom Hearts are Roxas, Axel, and Shion. So. Um, yeah, so oh. I don't. we don't know yet if the characters revealed here are the entire roster, but these are some interesting additions. Goldar uh, looks interesting. Um, and also revealed in the same trailer is apparently some of the like super special moves you can do involve summoning the fucking mega swords. Mm -hmm. Like like you just see the fucking dragon sword shove its tail into the battle or like stomp down or fire missiles out of its fingers in the fucking trailer. So that's gonna be awesome, and I can't wait to see what the other rangers can do for their mega swords. Well, Legacy Wars also did have like a mega sword fight mode where you could like fight his oh, yeah? mega swords. Yeah. What if Goldar's equivalent of that is just make my Goldar grow? Exactly. <laughs> That'd be amazing. Um, and for those who haven't been following news, other characters that are already confirmed to be in the game are Lord Dracon, uh, Mighty Morphin Green, Pink, Red, and Super Mega Force Yellow. Um, her name is Gia. Gia, I don't care. They actually, like, in the trailer, they actually go like, Gia! No, I know, I saw, and it bugs me. <laughs> Anyways, I've already got 2017 belly, already pissed off. Yeah, so I've already pre-ordered the game. It'll be out in April, uh, and uh, we will absolutely live stream it. Yep. Oh, my God. And lastly on our news stories, provided by our helpful chat right before we started, uh, recent addition to the Power Rangers Beast Morphers lineup is Sia Trokenheim playing Zoe's mom, apparently, Muriel Reeves. Ooh. So we have more than one Ranger's mom in the same show. Cool. That's neat. And yeah, that's it. <laughs> oh, Tom responded to my picture of the Zekros shirt saying, I love that it is not a cross Z shirt. Hmm? <laughs> wow. And yeah, that's the news. Okay. Told you, a light news week. Mm. Oh, yeah, and, and the actress in about Beast Morphers is the news reporter. Mm. So Zoe's mom is the news reporter in Beast Morphers. Cool. By the way, we've watched episodes one and two of Beast Morphers. Oh my god, Hasbro, you're killing it so far! Yeah, no, it's really good. You might want to keep an, keep an eye on the Cast Ranger channel. There might be uh, an old show coming back. Maybe. And so, that's the news. We will see you on the podcast proper while we eat this pizza. Bye.